because the integration is seamless. There are fewer hurdles, and you can play with it, meaning play music with it, in a far more musical way. It was nice to see that. Carsten Gehle co-founded Salamoni and since then has been the master architect of the Melodyne software, making the unique Melodyne idea become a state-of-the-art program. In this film, Carsten explains our pioneering extension for existing audio plugin interfaces, ARA, Audio Random Access. The letters ARA stand for Audio Random Access. Not random in the sense of haphazard or unpredictable, but random in the sense of non-sequential. And when do we need this kind of access? Well, first we need to be clear on the difference between a signal, or sound, and music. In the past, you had analog equipment with outboard effects that altered the sound. Reverbs, EQs, compressors, etc. When all this was transferred to the computer and emulated there, the process remained essentially the same. For this reason, VST, AU and other sound processing plugins alter the sound immediately audible. Melodyne, on the other hand, is far more musical. Let me just illustrate the difference here between sound and music. Picture it like this. When you've recorded a piece of audio in a sequencer or a DAW, it might look like this. Existing plug-in interfaces only offer the plug-in access to the sound that is heard immediately. As it plays back, they see first this, then this, then this, but only one sound at a time never the musical context. With ARA, we open the curtains so that you can see what is happening musically, the overall context, in addition, exchange information about what's going on rhythmically. You see, for example, that this is beat one of a bar, this a sixteenth, this an eighth, and so on. Okay, and what does this mean in concrete terms to the user working with Melodyne? First of all, in terms of what Melodyne is basically capable of doing, it changes nothing. You can still modify audio as though it was MIDI and move notes around. But it makes a difference to the workflow, a considerable difference. There are many examples. You can move clips or regions around in the host without having to reproduce the same changes in Melodyne. You can more easily combine a drum track recorded without a click and a piece of audio recorded with a click and synchronize the drums to the existing audio, or vice versa. The entire transfer designed to provide Melodyne with a musical overview that the user had to perform in the past is now completely unnecessary. You can just take a clip and say, edit this with Melodyne, and it's done right away. All that housekeeping with audio files is also a thing of the past. And what technical basis do you have to establish before you can benefit from this greater ease of use? How is all this realized? Well, it's realized using what's known as an API. It's an interface. It can be implemented in addition to VST, AU or RTAS. So, it isn't an alternative to VST, but just an extension that can be used together with existing plug-in APIs. Could we think of it as an expanded choice of words and enhanced vocabulary that programs can take advantage of when communicating with one another? Yes, API stands for Application Programming Interface. Interface being the operative word. Whenever you want two different programs to interact, you have to define what they are going to be talking about and how they will communicate. So the analogy with vocabulary is a good one. And this all sounds a bit theoretical to me. Many pages of protocol that govern everything. But that's already working in actual products, right? Yes, it can be found in actual products. Regarding the theory, we developed the API together with Presonus. That was good for a great many reasons. But above all because we were able to approach it from the plug-in side while they approached it from the standpoint of the host. And this way, we could create an API straight off that was equally good from either perspective and that both applications could work with equally well, and also one that as many audio software companies as possible would be able to support. You mean other doors? 
Yes, by completely different DAWs. It's intended as an interface that any plugin or DAW manufacturer can implement. The first to do so is Presonus, with its Studio One from version 2 onwards. We've integrated it in all Melodyne plugins from version 1.3 onwards. The response when we set out the beta test version was very gratifying. I was actually quite surprised. API and ARA are, at first sight, highly technical concepts. Yet we received a great deal of feedback from users and beta testers who suddenly can work with the software in a totally different way. Because the integration is seamless, there are fewer hurdles, and you can play with it, meaning play music with it, in a far more musical way. It was nice to see that.